welcome to my channel in my first weight loss video. And as you can see by the title, it is my second weight loss journey. So this video is going to give some background of my first journey, um, my successes, my ups and downs, um, in detail what I'm going to do um, with the second journey. And I'm doing this video for two reasons. First, I hope that it will be motivation for anyone that's trying to lose weight, that's had any ups and downs, um, or that's just looking for maybe some tips and tricks or different things that other people have tried that maybe they haven't um, and they, they would like to try. Second, I'm doing this for um, motivation for myself to be able to um, look at videos or look at my successes and you know use that as motivation to continue on and um, push myself to lose weight and post a video monthly to uh, chronicle my weight loss journey. So let's just get into my first journey. Um, about four or five years ago, it's probably more about five years ago, um, I really decided that I needed to do something. I needed to push myself harder to lose the weight. And um, my primary reason to lose the weight was not how I looked, um, not to make myself feel better about myself. Um, of course, I knew losing weight, I would feel better about myself. I would like the way I look better and I would be more comfortable. But my primary reason was health. Um, I already had high blood pressure. My grandmother had battled um, diabetes uh, most of her adult life. And my glucose levels were getting kind of high. I didn't have diabetes, but it was inching a little too close to that number. And um, at that point, I said, you know, I really need to try something. Um, I had always battled with my weight throughout my life. Um, and I had tried different diets, different fad diets, everything to make you feel like you're starving and you're about to die because you're so hungry. So, of course, those things did not work for me. So, what I decided to do was try something that I hadn't tried before. And that was Weight Watchers. I would heard great things about Weight Watchers from people and I heard not so good things that it made it didn't work for them so i wasn't really sure where i would fall into that equation but i said i needed to try i needed to give it a try so i decided to do that and once i read about the program and looked at the program more i was really impressed with weight watchers because you eat real food you eat regular food you don't eat their food you don't eat ma manufactured food it really teaches you how to cook clean how to eat clean um and portion control weighing your food how much you're eating it teaches you all these tools that you really would need for the rest of your life because losing weight is a lifelong journey it is a lifestyle change so that was a good um, motivation for me. I said, well, you know, this this might be a good thing. Now, one thing I will say on Weight Watchers, you have to cook. If you're not a good cook or if you don't like to cook, then it may not work for you. But you have to cook because there's not too many things from restaurants or, you know, fast food is just out. Those type of things, being out and about and picking up dinner on the way home and not cooking, that's not going to help you. Um, you do get a splurge day with Weight Watchers one day a week. And no, you can do that. You can go out to restaurants on those days. But generally, six days a week, you need to cook. Um, so I already love to cook, so that was a plus for me. Um, another thing that was a plus is that with Weight Watchers, you weigh yourself weekly. I never did that before. I always said, well, let me try this diet for a few weeks before I weigh myself, you know, thinking it's going to take time for it to work. But Weight Watchers works immediately. The first week, you should at least drop three to five pounds the first week. And then it kind of regulates from one to two pounds. But every week, you're losing something. And to weigh myself every week and see that I was actually losing something, well, that went to my head. I was like, okay. This is working. I'm going to continue. So Weight Watchers for me worked so well that I lost 115 pounds my first journey. Um, 
I can go on and on about Weight Watchers. I have a lot to say, a lot of tips and tricks and everything about that. Um, so if you want to see a separate video on that, let me know in the comments below. I'll do a separate video just on Weight Watchers. I don't want this video to be too long. Um, but anyway, it worked for me. It was a success. 115 pounds down. Um, it took me about maybe two and a half years to do it, but it was consistent weight loss every week. Um, so that, you know, that really worked. And then I had that one splurge day where I could eat whatever I wanted. So let's get into why I'm on this second journey. I'm on this second journey because you're going to have ups and downs with weight loss. Anytime you make a major lifestyle change in the way you eat, cutting out a lot of calories, cutting out, I completely cut out fast food. I completely cut out all of that. And I completely cut out soft drinks, no soda. Um, you know, so those things are uh, what really helps you lose weight. And it's a lifestyle change. So me, it's something that you have to maintain throughout your life if you don't want to gain any, more, any weight at all. So basically, I had lost that 115 pounds. Um, and, you know, I kind of hit, I kind of got stuck. You're going to hit... I hit a rut. I wasn't losing anymore. And I wanted to lose anymore, but it was like my body said, look, I gave you 115 pounds down. It's not responding anymore. And I looked at that as a little bit of a failure. Um, you know, so I kind of just lost my motivation a little bit. And then I kind of fell off the wagon because I lost my motivation. Uh, it was, it's, it's, it was a mind game at that point. It was like a lot of people would say, oh my gosh, you lost 115 pounds. You should be ecstatic. And I was ecstatic. But I had this number in my mind that I wanted to be at. I had this number that I wanted to weigh. And that's why I'm getting ready to get into the number game. I don't focus on numbers anymore. And you probably see my little dog right here. Say hi, poo, -poo. Say hi. You want to be in the video? my partner in crime but anyway i don't focus on numbers anymore um i focus on how i feel how i look um i even focus more on how many clothing sizes i lost or whatever but i don't focus on this is the number that i want to weigh because everybody's body is different you may not be meant to be 160 pounds or 150 pounds or whatever. I'm never going to be skinny. That's not how I'm built. That's not my shape. I'm always going to be a very curvaceous person. So to me, in this second journey, because I gave myself time to think about what I want to accomplish in this second journey, and it's not about the number anymore. It's about how I feel. Now, when I lost my motivation between the first journey and this journey, I have gained 40 pounds. Um, you know, because I was focusing on that number, my body wasn't responding, and that kind of just, you know, hey, I'm just going to relax. I'm just going to, you know, relax with it. And over time, over a few months, um, I picked this weight up. And I don't feel healthy and I don't feel good with the four, extra 40 pounds. I felt healthy before but I had this number in my mind so on this journey my journey is to lose 40 pounds and that is it if I decide after 40 pounds you know let me see let me see what I can do and if I lose more than that my body responds this time that's fine but if it doesn't 40 pounds is enough for me and I'm, I'm gonna be happy with that so that's my advice to you when you start to lose weight don't think about a number. Don't think about how much you want to weigh. Don't even think about how much you want to lose. Because that's, in my first journey, I never thought I would lose 115 pounds. That was not my goal. I said, let me see if I can lose 25. And it just kept adding up. And before I knew it, I had lost 115 pounds. So never concentrate on a number. Just see what happens. Because at the end of the day, you should be doing this. To, my advice is that you should be doing this for health. You shouldn't be doing it for how you look um, or how you want to feel. That's all added bonus. 
But to me, the driving force should be just to feel better and to be healthier and be more active and, you know, be able to do more things. And and that that's, that's my goal. So with this journey, I'm back on Weight Watchers, um, you know, and I'm going to lose this 40 pounds. I'm going to do it slowly, the Weight Watchers way. And I am going to post a video every month um, just letting you know how much I lost. Or maybe even how much I didn't lose because weight losing weight is you have your ups and downs. Um, so, you know, hopefully I'm successful every month. We'll see. Um, and I'm going to post a video just to let you know how much I've lost, um, what worked for me. Um, even, you know, I'm going to even post some new recipes or things that I've tried or just some things that I eat during the week. Um, I'll probably have separate videos on that as well so you can kind of see what I eat during the week. I think that'll be helpful. But um, I hope you follow me on this journey. Um, if there's any separate videos that you'd like to see, comment below. If you want to see a separate video on Weight Watchers, comment below. I am going to do, um, like I said, um, monthly updates on how much I've lost. And I'm also going to do um, separate videos on just some of the foods that I eat. So thanks for watching. I hope this was um, some motivation for anybody that's just starting out. And um, see you soon. Bye.